Hi, I'm John, and we're here looking at the P0 percussion module, which is a model of a cymbal or other round drum. Here we're just feeding it with a simple clock and listening to the audio output. An additional output is the mallet output, which can be adjusted in its softness from punchy through to large padded type mallets. Along with the clock input, there's also a manual trigger. Which can be used at the same time as an external clock. Rather than trying to synthesize with a conceptual model, this models at a physical level the interactions of sound on a round surface. This is a simple cymbal sound at the moment and if we run up through the different controls available here's a simple LFO that's providing stepped random voltages <coughs> and the modulation here is being applied to the velocity of the strike Every time the trigger comes in, it reacts to the velocity, the damping, and the position of the hit on the surface. And operating at all times is the frequency control. Applying the dynamics here to the decay. going for some hi-hat type of sounds as if we slow it down get the longer symbols unusually here is modeling of the position of the hit from right at the edge of the symbol coming in towards the center. Most popular music plays the cymbals very far towards the edge, which gets the characteristic sound. But you can hear players playing closer into the middle. When we start considering drums, a drum tends to be played more towards the center of the membrane, whereas an edge is starting to reduce its intensity. But equally, on things like a bongo, the player will modulate where they play to get different sounds. If we listen to a faster line here using the LFO, get quite a range of modulation in there and then into metal and bell sounds are also possible the 
the symbols of course being its original intention modulating the size we can bring up the speed of that modulation or even self modulate it with the strike last two controls here we haven't touched on are an additional decay zone this sets the damping of the cymbal or other percussion and these can be used to damp a second region of a changeable size we cut out the center portion of the cymbal as it would normally be heard or head to completely unrealistic hollowed out sounds it's a lovely metallic simulating round objects it can also do drums right up from small hand drums down to large kicks quite convincingly and the adjustable soft beta sizes can take it right down to scratch or had sort of sounds on the surface. Each time a trigger is triggered through the clock input, an interaction occurs set by the decay and location. Existing sounds within the model continue to interact with that as in a real acoustic instrument. <laughs> 